what I'm arguing now is we were prepared last uh, the, the general election to put the cause before the party. The cause of independence, the anti-trident cause, the anti-austerity cause before the party. Now we've got an election next May with two votes. And the way the electoral system works is very, very clear. If you win seats first past the post, you will not win seats in the list. That's just that's the DeHaunt system that we have in Scotland was designed to prevent any one party winning all the seats. If the SNP, as is likely, and we're supporting it, solidarity's position is vote SNP with your constituency vote. All across Scotland, vote SNP with your constituency vote. I'm confident in Glasgow that SNP's going to win every seat. I hope in Edinburgh they'll win every seat. If they don't, they'll win 90% uh, of them. I think Edinburgh's got uh, eight or nine seats. I can't remember. We've got nine. How many of you's got? Nine. In Edinburgh, nine. I think they'll win at least eight. I hope they'll win nine. But the point is, I don't want to bore you with the details. 200,000 people vote SNP with their first vote. SNP win all nine seats. 200,000 people vote SNP with their second vote. What happens to it? It gets divided by the number of seats that they win first past the post plus one. In other words, 200,000 votes list gets divided by nine seats one that they win plus one gets divided by ten. So 200,000 votes becomes 20,000 votes. So the Labour Party who gets 80,000 votes, the Tories that get 60,000 votes, the Liberals that get 40,000 votes, you cap, you cap who may get 20,500 votes, they would all win a seat on the list before the SNP. That's why I'm saying a second vote for the SNP is a wasted vote. More than that, more than that. A second vote for the SNP helps the unionists. It helps the unionists. That's why my position and Solidarity's position is this. Give the SNP your first vote, but give your second vote. Yes, please, please, please give it to Solidarity. But see if you're not going to give it to Solidarity, because this isn't just a pitch on behalf of Solidarity. I'm saying if you're not going to give it to Solidarity, give it to another pro-independence, anti-austerity party. Because don't waste your vote. And Bill, I think if we did that, the reason I'm calling for that is because I'm determined that Indy Ref 2 is on the agenda. Yeah. I want Indy Ref 2 on the manifesto of the SNP next year. It's certainly in our manifesto. And if we get into Holyrood a majority, overwhelming majority of pro-independence MSPs, not just from the SNP, but from the other independent parties, I'm calling for 2018 to be the date for the next referendum. We can't have it in 2017, local government elections, maybe even a Euro election, a Euro referendum. But 2018, why not? Why not? We've been lied to, we've been conned, we've been bullied. And Nicola, who I thought played an absolutely brilliant role during the general election, uh, got a lot of time for Nicola, worked, for her, worked with her for eight years in the parliament. Nicola said, events, <coughs> events will decide when the next referendum will take place. I've got to say this to you, brothers and sisters. What is a bigger event than the Labour Party in Scotland being reduced to one seat in Westminster? Mm. That's an event! That's an event! And if we can follow that up in May next year with an overwhelming majority of people voting for pro-independence parties, using their vote wisely, yes, number one vote, constituency vote, SNP candidate, comes to the list vote, the peach coloured vote, we're going to vote Solidarity, we're going to vote Green, we're going to vote uh, one of the other socialist parties, we're going to vote for a pro indie party with a second vote. If you do that, <laughs> I think we're a step closer to a second referendum and we're certainly going to deliver a pro-independence Scottish Parliament. So that's our position, Bill, and um, there are certainly some people in the left of politics who think 
um, that were given in too much to nationalism by, by for instance, calling for the first vote for the SNP. My argument is this. We've got a Scottish election next May. Who are we going to vote for first then? If it's not the SNP, who are we going to vote for? I mean, the end of the day, I'm not going to vote for a pro-trident, pro-austerity, anti-independence Labour Party. I'm certainly not going to vote for the Liberals or the Tories because they're even more all of those things. Some people may say, ah, but you might get some smaller parties standing first past the post. They're not going to win. They're not going to win. Don't waste any of your votes. Give your first vote to the SNP. You could take a position of abstentionism. You could say, oh, we're not telling you who to vote for. Yes, you could do that. I think that's a dereliction of duty. I think if you're going to stone up the platform that I do, I have a duty to give my opinion. I have a duty to try and lead. Leaders are supposed to lead. So you're supposed to give an opinion there. I can stop and say, oh, well, it doesn't matter who you vote for. No, it does matter. Vote for a pro-independence party with your first vote. Give it to the SNP with your second vote. Give it to Solidarity or another pro-independence party. And by the way, we're got, nine months we've got. The machinery's already beginning to work from the SNP headquarters. They're already beginning to say, oh, no, no, we need both votes. We need both votes. We may not win all the first-past-the-post votes. Oh, look, yeah, sure, okay, you may not win all the first past the post seats, you may not, but come on, look what happened in May, look what happened in the local by-elections last week all across Scotland, look what the opinion polls are saying, why would we believe any of that's inaccurate? The SNP is going to win between 50 and 60% of the first past the post votes, that's a, that's a fact. They're going to win 71, maybe even 73 of the 73 First past the post seats. That's a reality. I wish the SNP would have a wee bit of cause before party and say, listen, we're not telling you who to vote for with the second vote. We're asking for your first vote. For your second vote, we're asking you to vote for a pro-independence party. Is that too much to ask for the SNP to do that? <laughs> That's the reality, Bob, that the voting system now works in favour of the smaller parties if it's used properly. But we are going to have to ask people to be adults and mature and use their vote properly.